welcome back to my channel, it's me Wayne here, and today we're back in the city of Las Vegas about to go on another food adventure. And the place we're going today is located inside of Park MGM, which is the casino and hotel that I'm staying at. And inside there's a special restaurant called Best Friend, which is owned by Roy Choi, apparently a super famous chef, and I can't wait to try it. So Best Friend is a restaurant that specializes in Korean? Korean fusion? Some type of Korean food and it has such high ratings everyone talks about so I am so excited to try it out. But with that being said, I'm getting hungry so let's go to Best Friend. Well, let's go get some food. Got my food to go. I decided to take it to go mainly because there's a DJ playing super loud music and you know YouTube copyright. So yeah, just gonna take it back to my hotel room and enjoy. So I finally made it back to my hotel room. I have to say, oh man, all the foods came down the hallway to the room. I was so anxiously eager to eat everything because it smells so so good. And guys, I need to tell you, I did not know Best Friend by Roy Choi was that popular. Like I knew it was good, but. Oh my lord, I was originally gonna go inside and film at Roy Choi today, but apparently you needed reservations and they were completely packed. And not only that, they also have loud music too playing inside, which, you know, eventually they did open up room and I was able to go in, but because of loud music, I didn't want to deal with the YouTube copyright. That's just a pain in the butt. And apparently, I didn't know this, but they have a live DJ playing there every single day. Oh man, music is good, but it's just super loud. So I didn't want to deal with that. So I decided to take my food to go and Fortunately for me, my hotel room is literally two minutes away. It's in the same building as Best Friend. So I was pretty fortunate there. And what I got was four different items. I got a kimchi fried rice. I got kogi tacos. I got ramen. And I also got a date cake. Oh, which looks absolutely delicious. Oh, and it smells so fragrant and aromatic right now. I wish you guys were here to try this because, oh, it is just so good. And what I really want to show y'all is that, you know, when you eat at Best Friend by Roy Choi, you get this nice looking silverware. I know it looks like it's metal or steel, right? But it's not, it's plastic, but it just looks so good. Oh, I actually like the silverware. Anyways, I already have one opened up just because I was doing some filming earlier on. But with that being said, I'm getting hungry. So which one should we try out first? Um. Let's try out the kimchi fried rice first, maybe because it's literally right here and it's it's the most potent of smells like literally it just smells so good so let's see what's inside the kimchi fried rice so the kimchi fried rice has caramelized kimchi and post egg a poached egg it costs 17 dollars by the way which i do have to say like if you look at this box this is actually a pretty big portion of kimchi fried rice wow this is a family style portion one person is not going to finish all this this is a lot of food now i know the menu it says it has caramelized kimchi and poached egg but also has some other stuff in here too that's not listed on the menu. Like I see a lot of greens, like seaweed, some green onions, chives, and a, I think that's basically it. I mean, is there, is there kimchi? Yeah, there is kimchi, okay. Overall, it looks very good. So with that being said, let's just grab a bite. Let's get a little bit of everything, get some nice rice, get some seaweed, get some greens. As you can see, we got a nice little bite here and let's go on in. Mmm. Oh, oh, that was absolutely delicious. Rice itself, very soft, very fluffy, seasoned per to perfection. It actually has some nice spice going on too. Like, I can feel a little bit of tingling sensation on the back of my throat. Ooh, not bad. And the seaweed itself, I know it's in this container, so kind of like got a little bit uh, soft, but there's still a little bit of a crispy crunch to it, which gives a nice texture in each and every bite. Oh man. This is absolutely wonderful. I can see why so many people rave about it on Yelp because I was—I didn't know what to order at Best Friends. I was looking on Yelp and apparently people recommended the kimchi fried rice and sure enough, it is good. Now it also has a poached egg that looks absolutely beautiful. Let's break open that yolk. Oh man, that yolk is just oozing everywhere. Ooh, it looks so good. Let's mix it up in with the kimchi fried rice, get it nice and coated. And as you can see, it has a nice eggy sensation going on to the rice and let's give it a bite. Mmm. Oh, wow. 
That was so, so good. Egg, you know, gives a nice, soft, rich, and creamy sensation mixed with the rice, the soft and fluffy rice. It's just a flavor overload. Ooh, oh man. Like I know if we look at this, it, it definitely feels simple in concept, but flavor is out of this world. Oh, wow. Mmm. Oh, absolutely amazing, absolutely. I can definitely see why everyone raves about this, literally. If you guys ever go to Las Vegas and go to Best Friend by Roy Choi, definitely, definitely get the kimchi fried rice. Woo! You will absolutely love it. It's a little bit expensive, but seeing how big the portion is and how good it tastes, absolutely worth it. So with that being said, kimchi fried rice, absolutely phenomenal. Let's try the other foods too. So the next up we have is the Kogi Tacos. Let me move this to the side real fast. Let me see how the Kogi Tacos. So there's apparently three tacos in here. Not too big, not too small either. Decently sized, filled to the brim with a whole bunch of ingredients. Oh, they look absolutely amazing. Let's see the ingredients inside the Kogi Taco. Where's the menu right here? So inside the Kogi Taco, there's Korean barbecue, which I'm assuming it's short ribs. I think that, I think I saw that on the other menu. So I think the Korean barbecue is short ribs. There's salsa roja, cilantro, onion, lime, chili, and soy sauce, or soy and slaw. Oh, which sounds so, so good. They also give you a lime and also some radish. Oh, you don't need that. So first things first, let's grab a little taco right here. As you can see, oh, which one, which? Is it those stuff? Uh, oh, there's two, okay. So there's two taco tortillas in each taco. And look at this. This thing is absolutely filled to the brim. Oh man, I'm scared it's gonna leak out everywhere. So let's grab a little lime. Squeeze a little juice on Oh, 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 it's squeezing everywhere. Squeeze a little juice on it. Oh, absolutely delicious. And with that being said, I can't wait any longer. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Mmm. That is good. Tortilla itself, not bad. It's not the softest I've seen. It's a little bit on the harder side. It's still very nice. It's, it's your regular tortilla, nothing too special there. But it's all about the inside filling. As you can see, I don't know if y'all can see it, but look at this inside filling. Look at all the items. Oh man, the Korean barbecue, which is absolutely delicious. The meat, I'm pretty sure it's short ribs, super soft, super tender, very juicy and moist and full of flavor, seasoned to perfection. Mm. Then you got the soy slaw, which, you know, it feels very cool and refreshing, soft, yet delicate overall. Very good. What other stuff do they have in here? Salsa roja? Is that is that the spicy thing? I don't know. Cause I feel a little bit of a spicy sensation on the back of my throat. I'm not sure where it's from, though, because I don't really see a lot of sauce or anything in here. So I'm assuming maybe it's a salsa roja. But either way, this thing is phenomenally good. Oh, let me get another bite. Mmm. 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 The only thing I'm sad about is that they only give you three tacos. Three tacos. Oh, man. Being how good this is, I, I want more and more. Literally, just give me a whole buffet line full of Kogi tacos because this is so good. Although, the only thing I don't like about this is that it's a little bit pricey. I think Kogi taco for three tacos, it's $18. So, just this three tacos, $18. That is really pricey considering like we go right down the street to tacos el gordo and get some super delicious al pastor tacos for only three dollars so seeing this is definitely on the more expensive side but i have to say if you're in vegas give it a shot but with that being said let's try the next item which is the ramen oh this looks so good now the one thing i want to say about the ramen is that you know i was kind of expecting a to go ramen container like one of those plastic bowls where you could just eat directly out of. This, I'm pretty sure they thought I was gonna pour it into a, another bowl or something because this is kind of hard to eat ramen out of. <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, it's a good container, but all the ingredients are like on the bottom and stuff. So uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but either way, it does look good and it smells absolutely fantastic. Oh man. Okay, let's check out what ingredients are inside the ramen. So let me find the ramen real fast. Mm. So there's apparently kimchi, there's corn, there's a poached, oh, poached egg. Oh, wow. I thought that was just a, you know, soft boiled ramen egg, but oh, apparently that thing's a poached egg. Okay. And American cheese. Okay. 
Well, I know some some Koreans like adding American cheese into the ramen. That's that's nothing unusual. But I actually never had that before. I don't even know where is the American cheese. Is it completely melted or something? I don't know. Either way, let's give it a try. Let's just eat it right from this. So, hold on. Mm. Let's dig in. Ooh, this thing is piping hot. Piping hot. Let's get a little bit of everything. Get some kimchi. Get some ramen. Get some corn. I can see you've got a nice little bite right here. Oh man, there's a lot of steam coming out. Hold on. I don't want to burn my mouth. This this is this looks like some dangerous situations. Oh man. Alright. With that being said, let's give it a bite. Not bad. Not bad by any means. You know, I had way worse, but you know. I wasn't expecting the ramen to be that good because, you know, I was looking through Yelp for recommendations of what foods to get. Ramen was one of the least expected. I, I didn't see many people talk about the ramen. I wanted the kimchi carbonara, but apparently that, that item, you cannot get it to go. You have to be in the restaurant to have it. So I was very sad. So I decided, you know, let's just get some ramen instead. And I have to be honest, ramen is actually very good. Very flavorful. This broth is very good. I don't know what kind of ramen broth this is. Like it doesn't say it on here, but it feels like some type of pork broth. I don't I don't know, but it's very flavorful, very good, seasoned to perfection. Definitely has some spicy sensation in here. Very nice. Corn gives a nice little crunchy texture. You got the vegetables nice and crisp overall. Not bad. Is this the bean sprout? Oh, you have all kinds of vegetables in here. Oh man. Yeah, let's give it another bite. Mmm. Oh, that is good. And you also got the poached egg over here, as you can see. Oh man, that gooey sensation. Oh, normally, to be honest, I'm not really a fan of poached egg. Normally, I like my eggs to be soft boiled because that just gives it a whole bunch of te textures and sensations. But being poached, you know, it kind of just liquefies and mixes all together with all the other ingredients, which isn't a bad thing, but. I just like a little bit more texture, you know what I mean? This is some good ramen. It's not the best ramen I had by any means, no. But you know, for the price, it's actually a fairly decent ramen. Like the ramen over here only costs $15, which is comparable to many other ramen shops, like especially in Houston. The ramen shops in Houston sell their ramen for around $12 to $17. So it's nothing out of the unusual. But you know, for the price and what you're getting, not bad at all, not bad at all. All I do have to say, my favorite is definitely gonna be the kimchi fried rice, then the kogi tacos, then the ramen. Ramen's good, it's just, it can't compete with the other two, but still, not bad. So with that being said, so far, we tried three of the main items that I got and they were absolutely phenomenal, absolutely amazing. So far, I have to say, Roy Choi, you know how to make good food. Your food is absolutely phenomenally good. Well, I can see why there's so many people coming to your restaurant. Anyways, last item we have over here is the date cake. As you can see, it's this small little cake right here with some whipped cream, I think. Whatever that is, very, I, I'm pretty sure it's whipped cream. It's, it's a very small amount, but the cake itself looks absolutely delicious. Like, it's a small cake though, like compared to the size of my palm, it's probably not even, it's probably like half the size of my palm. It's a very small cake, but it should still taste good. So let me see the ingredients in here. Um, The date cake, Okay, so it's just a sticky toffee cake, pudding? Sticky toffee cake, okay, not bad. Now, for those of you who watched some of my previous videos, my favorite sticky toffee cake or pudding is actually from Gordon Ramsay's restaurant. He makes it phenomenally good. So I'm wondering if is this the same thing? It's just, it doesn't have the ice cream for some reason. Like if it had the ice cream, I can, I can probably bet it's gonna be like absolutely delicious. But there, it's just a sticky toffee cake right now, so hopefully it still tastes good. Let's give it a bite. Using my fork. Oh man, this is very soft and delicate. Ooh, it breaks apart like nothing. Oh man. Now you see we've got a little sticky. Is it sticky toffee or is it a date cake? I'm confused now. Either way, let me know down in the comments below. Is it a is sticky toffee what the cake's called or is it a syrup? Because I don't see any syrup or anything on here. But anyways, let's see how it tastes. Oh, that is good, wow. And being how I got here so fast, the cake itself is still nice and hot, or 
a little bit more towards the warmish hot area. Still very good, very soft, breaks apart like nothing, literally melts in your mouth. Such good taste and flavors, oh man. Definitely a little bit on the sweeter side of things, but still very good. Ooh, this is a good day cake or sticky top, whatever it is, it's good. Mmm. This actually reminds me of Gordon Ramsay's dessert for some reason. It's probably pretty similar. The only thing it needs is an ice cream, literally. If I got an ice cream paired with this, absolutely phenomenal. Oh man. But still, just by itself, well, it has the whipped cream. Let's try with the whipped cream. Not bad. Absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Wow. That was good. That cake is actually pretty cheap too. It's like 12, I can know. I don't want to say that's an okay price. $12 for this small cake, not bad, but it does taste very good. Overall, very pleased with Best Friend by Roy Torrey. So far, all the foods are so good. If you guys are ever in the city of Las Vegas looking for some good and amazing Korean sensation foods, definitely go to Best Friends. Although you will probably need to reserve early in advance because literally, it's always or completely packed. But if you do get a chance to dine inside the restaurant and reserve, you will absolutely love your experience. Music is good, it's loud, but it's very good, and food, absolutely delicious. Oh man, that was some good food, oh wow. All I have to say that, you know, my experience at Best Friend was absolutely phenomenal. Everything that we tried was just so, so good. You know, the tacos, the kimchi fried rice, the ramen, and also the day cake. Everything was just so well made. It was so flavorful and tasty. Absolute worth the visit. The only thing I have to say is that, you know, if you're wanting to go to Best Friend, just know that they're not really open for breakfast or lunch. They're typically open around in the late afternoon, around 5 p.m. And there may be a line, so do go early, but it is absolutely worth your time. And plus, it's also a really nice area too. They have a live DJ playing every single day. How cool is that? Wow. So with that being said, all I have to say is that you know, if you guys are ever in the city of Las Vegas and looking for some amazing, amazing Korean or Korean fusion foods to eat, definitely go visit Best Friends inside of Park MGM. It is absolutely worth the visit. You will absolutely love it. And with that being said, that's basically the video. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this. I had a lot of fun filming this. And if you want to see more content like this, please be sure to like, comment, and share this video with all your friends and family. And also, if you haven't done so already, please be sure to subscribe to my channel because you know I'm a small YouTuber. Any support does go a long way. And that's basically it. So see you later. <laughs>